Alex. Good. You too. We are back with something different. Something I've been thinking about doing for a long, long time. All right. Today is Sunday morning, July 9th. 2023 at 12 21 a.m. in the morning i ain't getting no sleep right now i'm about to enter into full screen mode this is ultra donis's official tier list official tier list okay now there have been many people on here some of your favorite youtubers they've done their tier list and it might have been eh, it might have been all right but it ain't it ain't no ultra way you know what i'm saying it ain't ultra. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to give y'all some of the categories. You can probably see them right now on the screen. I'm going to ruffle a lot of feathers with this video, but that's okay. All right. So what we got here, the categories. Now, you've seen these little boring-ass tier lists, S and A, B and C. Blah, 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 all right? I decided to do something different with these, okay? So what I decided to do is I made my own categories now. It's still going to be the same concept, guys, where as far as S. S is for Sigmund Male, Big Dog, Grown-Ass Man Fragrances, King Shit on the Ladies' Compliments and Reactions, okay? That's the top tier. That's the best of the best with this, okay? As far as these fragrances are concerned, you got the F Boy special juice in the bottle. The F Boy, for those of you who don't know what the F Boy is or the FN, the F Boy is the guy that they always complain about, the guy that um, that gets on their nerves, the guy that they just act like they can't stand, but they really, really love that guy deep, deep down inside because she moves something in him. She gives, um, he gives her something some type of reaction she gives her something to talk about he's not boring he's kind of flashy in a sense but you know he gets the job done but most of the time the f boy is not the serious one but at the same time depends on what stage of life she's on you know the f boy appeals i have a little bit of that in me we, i think all men do they just have to channel their inner f boy okay then we got what we got here you remind her of her ex now this could be a good thing or a bad thing i've seen a lot of street reactions when it comes to some of these some of these fragrances that oh you remind this kind of smells like my boyfriend or this kind of smells like my ex-boyfriend that could be a good or bad thing depending on how um, you broke up with her or how they broke up so these are fragrances that kind of fall somewhere in the middle you know they, they'll work it might work for you it might work in a you know in a scenario but that's what that category is for. This is the next category is, you are a nice guy. You're like a brother than me. Uh, hello there, bestie. Bruh, you're just in the friend zone forever. And I'm like, you're gonna smell nice around her and all that good stuff, man. And this could put you in the reminder to uh, ex-boyfriend type fragrance as well. But um, you don't wanna hear those words from a, um, chick especially if you find her very very attractive okay this next category is the overrated youtube hype beast now it could be overrated it could smell great but sometimes some of these fragrances that i'm going to put in this category they're overrated as hell by the youtube fragrance community i don't see the appeal i bought some of these fragrances because because of some of your favorite youtubers yeah yeah but they're overrated. They smell nice. They're not for me. Um, and meh, use at your own caution. The next one. She said you remind her of her grandpa. And not in a good way. Not in a daddy, poppy type of way. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay? You smell like an old man. You smell like her grandpa. You smell like her dad. And I ain't talking about daddy. I'm talking, I ain't talking about poppy. I'm talking about... You smell like grandpa, like old grandpa. Oh, uh, tell me about your college. Tell me how school's going. How's the family going? Mm -hmm. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to smell like that, my guy. Then this next category is the straight trash juice, man. <laughs> this shit suck. Garbage. I wouldn't wear it. 
I wouldn't recommend anybody wear it. Stay away from it. trash. And then the last category is I don't know these like that. Either I don't know these like that or I ain't got no opinion on them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. I'm going to go from um, left to right. Now, some of these fragrances on here, they put twice. So, of course, I'm not going to do them twice. And also, a lot of these fragrances, um, I don't know. So, let's just go ahead and just get the ones that I really don't know nothing about. You guys can tell me down there in the comment section um, if you know anything about these fragrances. And then maybe I can learn something about them in the future. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with, I don't know what the hell this is that says Amber. I don't know that one. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. You see Miyaki. I smelled the original, but I don't know what this one is. All right. I don't know about that. I ain't never smelled that. All right. What else we got on this tier list? Some of these I own and some of these I've smelled. Okay. Um, let's see. I think those are the only two on here that um, I've smelled. The, uh, I smelled the polos. Kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of. All right. So I think that covers bases on the two. Two of these, on, only two of these. These are all designers, by the way. Oh, and we got one niche in here. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all can't wait till I get to this one. Ooh, buddy. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is Mancera Cedar Bose. This is a height. This is kind of a high beast. <laughs> I've smelled it. Um, some people even say, say that it smells like a grandpa. I've read those reviews on it as well. It's supposed to be a summer fragrance, um, summer like woody, um, fruity type fragrance, um, kind of in the vein of a uh, Terry Hernandez. Um, I'm going to put this right now. I'm going to put this one at overrated YouTube hype beast because I want to pull the trigger on it. I want to like it, but I haven't gotten there yet. You know what I mean? Like I need to get it. Like, I guess you need to get an actual sample before I can make that commitment. Okay. Um, YouTube, the, the, the polo fragrances never blow me away. They just never, they just never blow me away. They're just basic and boring. Um, I wouldn't say that it's straight trash slash garbage juice, but Dude, that's just a regular blue fragrance to me. Polo blue. I could say the same thing with polo black. I mean, it's just basic shit, man. Now, we got this polo red. I got a sample of this one. And this shit is straight trash. Smells like bug spray. All right? Smells like bug spray. <laughs> now, Bagari Aqua. Let's see, I think this is Bagori Aquamarine. I'm gonna put this up here at, you're a nice guy, you're a friend to me, it has a salty, aquatic accord. It ain't a big dog fragrance, it's not bad, but it's not great. Um, this is very hard to find nowadays. You might get lucky and find it on um, FragranceNet, or Fragrance Buy, one of those type of websites. Good luck trying to find this shit, wow. Um, but it's okay. Uh, but I think that's the kind of reaction you're going to get for that one, okay? Oh, man. Here we go. We already with a big dog. Versace Arrows. Yes, sir. You already know this is going up top. F-Boy Special Juice in a Bottle. This is like... A hype beast. I could put this down here as an overrated hype beast, but nah, man, I own this one. This is this this Versace Arrows. The we're talking about the EDT or the Parfum or the Auto Parfum. They all got that same, pretty much same kind of DNA. Uh, I would say that the Parfum and the Auto Parfum are a little bit smoother, but it's very sweet, uh, very powdery, very powerful powerful you'll definitely get noticed at a club with this it's a straight up f-boy fragrance a lot of women love this stuff i honestly don't like this fragrance i think it's a little too sweet but women do like this one women do like this one i'll say that one 
I don't know which perfumes to molly this one is. Um, I'm still dibble dabbing with the brand. Um, mm, I'm gonna put this at I mean, yet to be decided. Okay, um, I need to get. I, I've smelled, of course, the popular ones like your your Percivals, your Leightons, Galloway. Um, I smelled those, but um, that one. You guys, let me know down below which one is that one again. Uh, maybe I need to get my nose on it. Is it any good? Cause I don't, I don't know about that. Now this looks like replica barbershop. If this is replica barbershop, I could say that it's an old man juice. But the barbershop, but replica does a really good job. Replica is like a fragrance brand that is like it's a designer, but it has like niche quality fragrances. That's what they say about Mancera too. I don't agree with that. I think replica falls in that category a little bit long. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put this up here. You remind her of her ex-boyfriend. This could be a good or a bad thing. Now, now, if, let me see if I can just zoom in in that a little bit. It looks like, it looks like at the barbershop. Now, if this right here is Jazz Club, oh man, we going up here to big dog, grown ass man, fragrance, king shit, top dog type shit. <laughs> Have a lot of fun as you guys can see you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna leave that right there if it's at the barber shop it's gonna be here if it's jazz club it's gonna be right here all right all right detour decor nora decor and all right man this is that old man grandpa old ass outdated ass type shit man like no, okay. So I don't want even touching that one too long, man. Let's just get out of here. All right, here we go. Versace Port Home, one of my favorites. I'm gonna say this. You know what? Even though it's one of my favorites, I'm gonna say this to remind you of. This could remind you of her ex, man. You wear this right here, big dog. You could, but this is like a just a, a, a dumb reach, man. Like I can't hype this one up enough. People might say I overrate this one, but nah, man. This, this one right here. This, this, this is this is some king shit right here, man. <laughs> like I could put it up here, but I'm gonna say right here. It's a great gem fragrance. It's to me, it's the prince of all designer fresh fragrances, and it is a compliment magnet, guys. Compliment magnet. Blue to Chanel, man. Look, man. Put your ass up here in that damn friend zone, all right? It's powdery. It smells good. It has this shower gel type shit to it, man. But it ain't. I don't know, man. I could honestly put that here, too. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there, man. It's an overrated smell. Oh, my gosh. Talk about overrated. Boom. I wasted money on this, man. Matter of fact, I put this shit right back in the box. Perfumo is discontinued now. They got a par, uh, parfum version now. Smells slightly different. I did smell it. Actually, today, as a matter of fact, I did smell it. But it has this animalic thing that just kind of throws me off about it. Yes, it smells fresh. Yes, it smells. It does smell decent. But it has like that old, it has old man. I could put it here. Or I can put it here, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna leave it right here in, a, in, in the overrated category as well. Oh my gosh! Here we go, Spice Bomb Extreme, man. Get your overrated ass up there, man. That shit smell like potpourri. It shit, it's just not a good. I mean, I don't understand the hype. Like you can choke somebody out spraying that shit. That's how much. That's how bad. Like I ain't gonna say it's a bad fragrance, but man, it's. I've smelled better Victor and Roth. Bomb fragrances. This one is not good to me. It smells like potpourri. You'll choke somebody out. Spray too much of it. All right. All right. Up next, this is John Paul Gaultier. This is like the, I guess the food. Uh, one of the Jim God. Yeah. I could put that here. Or I can put that there. Man, let's just put that shit. All right. And I'm gonna put it here. A little slightly overrated too. I don't want to talk about that one. Oh my gosh, this is Dior Sauvage, one of the most controversial fragrances in the YouTube fragrance community. You know, 
know what though, as much as everybody want to hate on it, it's peppery, it's strong, it's, I just heard somebody today talking about Dior Sauvage, Dior Sauvage, and I was at Ross, Dior, they don't sell Dior Sauvage at Ross, but Dior Sauvage, man, this is an F boy fragrance, all day, every day. I can say you remind her of her ex, I could put it like right in here, but this is straight up F boy. I've always gotten compliments wearing that. I've always <laughs> kind of felt like an apple wearing it. Um, run your errands, just the dumb reach. This is a very big powerhouse. And Brox and Bomb. Don't spray too much of it. Guys, everybody knows what Dior Sauvage is. I don't need to get into it. I don't really need to get into it. Okay, now, here we go. Club Do New Way Intense, man. Just, man, get your ass up here. Hey, you know what? You passed F boy. You are a Big dog fragrance. Big dog. You talk about the best Creed Aventus clone on the market. Club the New Intense Man. Here we go, right here. I'm putting that right there. Sigma male, big dog, grown ass man. King shit on the ladies' reactions. Right here, where you belong, brother. All right, right here. I haven't smelled any other type of um, Aventus clone, uh, clone, as I've said before in the past. But I don't, I don't think I need to, man. This, cause that shit just works for me. You can get this anywhere for like thirty to fifty dollars tops. You shouldn't pay no more than hell. You shouldn't pay no more than thirty something dollars for it on most discounters. Man, it's a great fragrance. Is this Valentino born in Roma? Because if it is, or just a regular Valentino, either one. You're a nice guy. You're like a brother to me, a bestie. You're in a friend's guy. You're in a friend's home, pal. It smells great, but most of the Valentino fragrances are gonna put you in this category. Um, except for Born in Roma, I can make an argument to put you that remind you of her ex. Yeah. Now this is usually in the perfume section, but do not let that deter you, man, because women likes fragrances and smells that smell familiar to them. So I say. Roll with this one, okay, guys? Because this one right here, it, it, it's, it's solid. It's solid. It's solid. You're going to get compliments if it's Born Aroma. The original one, I'm going to put that right here and, and be like a nice guy. Let's move on. Oh, my God. I hear so much about this next fragrance. This is uh, Prada. It was a Prada, like the Prada one, the, the office. <sighs> this bottle, I just always call it the Prada, the Prada gray bottle right here. It's soft, it's powdery, it's um, fresh. I'm going to put a, a title when I remember what the hell this one is, but it, it is a Prada fragrance. I do know that. Prada Long, um, or Prada Old Intent, it's overrated. I like it, but I think it's slightly overrated. A little bit on the powdery side. They say it's like one of the best office fragrances for the um, brand. Well, it's all right. All right, here we go. This looks like Layton. Ah, uh, <laughs> what you think? What you think? What you think? Get your ass back down here, man. One of the most overrated fragrances of all time. Too sweet, man. And I ain't talking about no NWO, just too sweet. I'm talking about that shit just too sweet. It's overrated. Uh, no, if anything, guys, right here, my, my letters are chipped off. The Detour Noir, best clone for that. Smells just as good, not as potent as Layton, but man, look, Layton, Layton alone ain't gonna get you laid. It's overrated as hell. It's too sweet, way too sweet. I don't know why they hype that up so much. It's, it's not, don't smell bad, but yeah. All right, Versace Dylan Blue. Let's put that right here. Okay, you were gonna remind her of her ex. It's a solid blue fragrance, guys. This this is something that I would recommend just to start your your fragrance journey. Between this and Dior Sauvage, uh, either one of these you can't go wrong with. If you're just starting out and getting into this fragrance game, you can't go wrong with Dylan Blue. You might smell like her ex-boyfriend, but man, you, you're gonna smell good. The ladies are gonna appreciate that. I'll, I'll let you know that right there. Dylan Blue is a very solid fragrance. Okay, here we go. Now we got Aqua Dijon, the original. Hmm. 
I'm kind of torn on this one because I actually like this one, man. It just doesn't last long. It just don't last long enough. I can say that. I can say this. Or I can say this. I'm going to put it up here. You remind me her of her ex. This could be a good or bad thing. The only problem I have with this is that it doesn't last long. Now, this does. Some people are going to say that this smells like a 2000s fragrance. It, to me, it's not dated yet. To me, it's not dated. You were probably going to have to add some Isu, Isu or some Molecule 1, some Molecule 2 to it. But, um, man, Aqua de Jo, Aqua de Jo, the original, classic, man. Like, it, it, it's a good fragrance. It's a good fragrance. All right. Now, Armani Cold, I don't know which one this is. I have not smelled this one yet. I'm going to put that one right there. I think this is like Prada Carbon or Prada Luna. Uh, uh, I'm going to say nothing from Prada really has impressed me yet. Nothing. Nothing from Prada has really impressed me. Let me adjust this some. Let me adjust these down some that way because you got this. This is like the top, probably the most overrated thing ever. Let me adjust these down some. Boom, man. You know what? Oh, what man look regular product same thing man like you know I, 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 I ain't never been impressed by anything that product made yet this shit right here boy this is the Y all the, all the fresh I, mean, I don't like this one man it's too weak for me boy it's too weak for me boy alright what we got here <laughs> Victus Aqua. Victus Aqua. Oh, man. Get your friend zone ass up here, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, come on down here, sir. You are a nice guy. You're like a brother to me. Bestie. If you want a good alternative to any time, like any Victus and Aqua, like sweet bubblegum type fragrance, fellas, I recommend you get hot, um, Rossi Hawassi. Rossi Hawassi. You can't go wrong with that for him. It's, it's it's great. <laughs> it's like an Ambroxan. You take Invictus and you take Dior Survive and you just put them together. And the Victus Aqua it is, you put them together, that's what you get. Rossi Hawassi. And it's, it, you'll get compliments out the, go, out the ass with that one. Okay, let's see here. I think that one, I don't really know which one that is. But if it's a, if this is an Apicocca and Fitch fragrance. If it's an Apicocca and Fitch fragrance, man, get your ass up there. Man, she's garbage. I smelled this one too. Uh, I think this is like in the, in the Navy. Uh, shit whack too. Here we go now. <laughs> Armani Cold. Armani Cold, man. Look, bro. This is an F boy fragrance. You, this is an F boy in a suit. <laughs> this is the scammer guy. This is the guy that scams during the day. He comes on with a suit, he, you know, and, and he, he sweeps you ladies off. Feet, a lady that a couple of ladies that do watch these videos and um yeah man like that right there yeah it's, it's straight up f boy juice this is like that this is like that security guard that works at ross this is this is this, this, this is like that security guard that works at at at, at marshall's or tj maxx man this is this is what that dude wear right here man armani cold <laughs> All right, YSL, YSL, Lala Lila Long, Lala Lila Long, aka, I'm not gonna say it on this channel because I'm trying to, I ain't trying to get demonetized. Now, I could easily put that here, but it's grown on me, guys. It's grown on me. You know, it's grown on me, man. Like, I'm, I'm torn about that one. You know, I, I like Lotta Lady Long now. Blue Electric, that shit is overrated. But this, the classic one, you spray some uh, Molecule 1 and Molecule 2 on top of that, it's going to last a long time. Netflix and Chill Fragrance, it, it's solid. It's solid. You're going to remind her of her ex, all right? You're going to remind her of her ex. Setley. Setley, Setley, Setley. I love you, Setley. I love you, love you, love you. I'm gonna put you same right here, man. The thing about that though is it is a weak performer.
but guys, my hair legacy does the same thing, but much less. But I love said lady. I do love it. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video on up here. What is, what's down here that I have not touched on yet? Let's see. We're getting down towards the end here. This is uh, Aqua de Jo. I uh, can't tell which one this is. Uh, most Aqua, I have never really been blown away by anything Aqua de Jo wise anyway. I'm going to put you in you like a nice guy. Um, let's see. This is another long fragrance. I'm going to put this right here as, yeah, you're a nice guy for that one too. Cause I smelled that one at a Coles. Uh, a lot of little, this La Home, this La Home, not a lot of little Home, this La Home, this is the one with the silver top. I think that one is, um, it's okay, it's okay, but ain't really nothing to write home about. Not a kabooch. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to talk about a nice guy, this might get you out the friend zone, my guy. This one right here might get you out the friend zone. Yes. Nautica Voyage, I love it. It's like, it's a great fragrance. It smells good. This is like the top. Like, if you try to get the friend zone, you try to smell good. It smells good. Okay, well, enough with the friend zone jokes. <laughs> Guys, Nautica Voyage is a good fragrance, okay? It smells good. It's aquatic and it's cheap. I spent about $18, $19. You can get it from Burlington Co. Factory or you can get it ordered on at any discounter. But I just say go to your local Burlington. They always have them there. And you can just get it right away. Yeah, this shit smells so good. Like cucumber, um, watery. It's just it's a great fragrance, guys. All right. Coming down to the end now. Oh, boy. Last fragrance on here. Because all these other ones on here are repeats. We're talking about Creed Avances. Yes, sir. Creed Avances. F. Boy, <laughs> do I need to tell you guys more about the Creed Aventus fragrance? It's one of the most bold, polarizing fragrances on the market. Okay, this this video ran kind of long, guys. Um, hopefully, if you made it to the end, I greatly appreciate it. Give your boy a thumbs up if you want to see more of this kind of content. This, this this makes me excited. I had a good time doing this. This is really fun. If you made it to the end, give your boy. Thumbs up. Let me know down below. If you disagree with this this list right here, <laughs> or or am I out of pocket for some of these choices? Am I out of pocket? Uh, just let me know. Like, how would you rearrange this? Do I need to get more into like the the the, 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 the polo fragrances? Am, am I am I missing a mark on that? Some of these I don't know down here. Tell me more about. Uh, I'm surprised I ain't getting no more of, the, more of the old man fragrances on here. Yes, these to me are very overrated. Uh, these are nice guy fragrances. Remind you of her ex. Let me know if you disagree with this list. I had a good time doing this, guys. I got more content like this on the way. This is Ultra Adonis, and I'm signing out. Peace.